Jeffrey is eight years old. From fall to middle of winter, he was suffering from sleep apnea. He would stop breathing. It would be silent and you would have to kind of shake him to help wake him up. He, he doesn't get to bed till 4 a.m. He'll move maybe five different places during the night looking for a comfortable place to sleep and he never finds it. He couldn't even wake up in the morning. I kept bringing him back to the doctors. Nothing worked. Finally, we just went to the specialist and discovered super large adenoids. <laughs> My wife is so stressed out about Jeffrey. And it's not stopping. That's hard. I can't wait till I get my adenoids taken out because it'll feel better. All right, so let's take a look at Jeffrey's adenoid removal procedure. I'm really excited to get my adenoids out. The procedure we're going to be doing for Jeffrey is called an adenoidectomy. Just a little bit. Okay. Have a nice okay. sleep. So today we're going to remove them and his breathing is going to get better within a matter of a day or two. The discomfort afterwards is pretty minimal. The adenoids are located up behind the palate, so that soreness that kids get in the back of the throat is not there. All that fleshy tissue there is completely blocking his nose. So this instrument we're using is something called a coblator, which acts to remove the tissue. I'm just shaving them down. You can really see that the airway is just getting bigger, and it's, it's pretty much an immediate fix. It's really like taking a plug out of a sink drain. Once you take the plug out, everything is allowed to drain on its own. So we've just finished taking out Jeffrey's adenoids. He has a wide open airway right now, and he's gonna have a great night's sleep. And we're here with pediatric ear, nose, and throat specialist and author of Take a Deep Breath, Dr. Nina Shapiro, along with her patient, Jeffrey, and his dad, Jeff. Welcome to all of you. Thank you. I have to start with Jeffrey. How are you feeling, young man? I'm nice breathing much better since I got my adenoids taken out. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Dr. Shapiro, take us through this process. Why did he need this? And explain again exactly what you did. So Jeffrey had huge adenoids, some of the biggest adenoids that I've ever seen. I'm very impressed. And he could not, you see how now his mouth is nice and closed. He's breathing through his nose. His nose was completely blocked off. I he mean, was breathing through his mouth. And that's typically what we see exactly. with kids with the large adenoids is that really excessive mouth breathing. But problem for parents is you can't see adenoids, right? I mean, even right. a parent, you open up and you have these huge golf ball Tonsils, tonsils, you right. see them, yeah. but you can't see adenoids. You cannot see the adenoids if you look at a child, if you look in their mouth, um, but you will see their symptoms. Chronic stuffy nose, they seem like they have a cold, they look tired, they are tired because they're not sleeping well, they're snoring, they have sleep apnea. There are a few ways we can look at the adenoids. One is we can get, as in Jeffrey's case, an x-ray to see the back mm -hmm. part of the nose. And then the surgery is actually quite simple. As, as, as Jeffrey experienced, it was an outpatient surgery, took about 15 minutes, he went home about about an hour after the surgery and back to school in a couple of days. The recovery is actually quite that easy. That is awesome. And you're bringing in all that good air now, right? right. Sleeping better? Well, Way you look better. great. All right, thank you, all of you, for coming, especially you. There you go, buddy.